Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 18, and this week we're going to be having a look at laser cutting. We've got a few laser cutting videos coming up in the next few weeks because we've got the laser cut chassis for the Open RCR project to do, and I'm still waiting on acrylic to arrive for our 3D printer from scratch project. Um, today we're going to look at mainly a software tutorial where we're going to create a square to round sheet metal converter in SolidWorks and then laser cut a model of that in paper. So we'll be using SOLIDWORKS 2016 but the process is roughly the same for any recent version of SOLIDWORKS and this is what we're going to end up with a square to round converter and the cool thing about this is we can hit the flatten button if we do it right and it'll give us a development and anyone who's studied any technical drawing at any point will know that that is actually a bit of a nightmare to create longhand uh, with a pen and paper. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new file and a new part file and I need to make sure that my sheet metal tab is available. If you can't see that, right click in the space on the toolbar, choose sheet metal. You may need to do so again on one of these tabs as well. Make sure that's um, available because we're going to be using the lofted bend command. So we're going to start off from the sketch tab, use a center rectangle as opposed to a corner rectangle, sketch on the top plane. I'm going to do a very small square to round converter and I'm going to dimension that to 50 by 50 view on the top plane and we're going to create a small break so trace up from the center find the center point another center rectangle dimension to 0.5 in width and that is going to be the actual gap in the uh, the sheet material where the uh, the join is going to be we'll then use trim to take out the middle and any construction lines and then the two sides so we've got a perfect gap there you just got to check that you haven't left the uh, top two vertices we'll exit the sketch and then next we need to create a second plane to loft to. There's a few ways to do this, but my preferred method is to simply, outside of the sketch, choose the plane, control click and drag, and it'll allow you to offset a plane. I'm going to offset it at a distance of 35mm, select OK. I'm then going to create a new circular sketch on the top here. I'm going to create that at 35mm again zoom to the top surface and we've got to make sure that we create our gap where the seam of the metal is going to be on the same side so center rectangle trace from the center we'll zoom in here it's 0.5 again and then we'll trim out the center and there we have a second gap and we'll exit the sketch so we're going to loft between these two surfaces. Now you may be used to using the solid loft on the features tab. We're going to be using sheet metal, lofted bend. It asks for two profiles. We'll select the bottom and the top and it creates our lofted profile. Now there's a number of things you can do to play around this really outside the scope of this uh, video. The facet value is basically how many bends you want. Um, so the greater the number of bends, the greater the accuracy of the square to round, but also the greater complexity. Uh, I'm just going to leave it for 8 because I'm going to laser cut this and I'm going to fold it by hand. Um, again, you can choose sheet metal parameters such as thickness, uh, bend relief. Uh, obviously, if, you, if you're bending in the sheet metal, then it's going to stretch a little bit and SolidWorks will calculate all that for you. So we'll tick OK. And then we have our square to round and we just hit the flatten button to get our net or our development rather. Now virtually every laser or plasma cutter will need a DXF file so we're just going to file, save as, choose our DXF, hit options. Now our particular laser cutter, and we're only going to just laser cut this in paper to uh, prove the principle, requires a 2010 format and it'll give me some options and you definitely want to tick bend lines. Once you've selected that and clicked OK it will give you a sample and that looks about right, that's something I can work with. So I'll click save and head over to the laser cutter.
So even though it's made out of paper, uh, the principle is the same in any kind of sheet metal. We haven't really got much of a bend allowance, but the, um, the engraving that I've done in this paper has allowed us to have some, um, some simple folds. And this, when it's completed, a simple square to round conversion. So thanks for watching. In the next few videos, we're gonna be doing a bit more in depth on the laser cutter to make sure we know how to set up settings. I'm gonna try and keep it in generic terms so it'll work for most laser cutters, not just our 50 watt CTR model. So if you like these videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. And we'll see you next time for a bit more laser cutting. And I'll leave you with a bit of outro footage of our CNC lathe. And there's more of that coming in the new year. See you next time.